Hi, Shauna Holt with Fit for Your Life, and I've been doing some spring cleaning in my house, and I've been sharing my tips and resources that I use and I found um, in my quest to finally tackle this household. Have you started your spring cleaning yet in your home this year? Um, if you can hear me, you know, comment, like, give me a thumbs up. This is my final installment on spring cleaning. It is part 12 and it's all on the office and the desk and the computer and you know whether or not you you know have your home office like me or the one you have at work you know I have to confess that I put this one last it um, it probably belonged you know back on part 10 but because my desk area is probably the worst I really dread cleaning it. I, you know, I always start and, you know, I get everything cleared up and then I end up with piles again a few days later. So I really need to find a system that is, that will work for me. The thing is, I don't have a lot of time to put into, um, put, to put into place a system. So um, as I talked about in spring cleaning part two, what do I need? Um, I have a sorting system that I label GTSM for give away, trash, store, or move. And I start every room with that first. Now when it comes to the desk and the office area, it's mainly paper clutter. And I'm having to decide if it needs to be saved or thrown away. And not a lot, you know, to be given away, at least not for me. Um, I might still have some things sitting here that belong somewhere else, um, but if you haven't gotten my checklist, I have some free checklists on spring cleaning that you can get um, on my link at my website. So the idea that I'm going to share with you first is actually what I think is the quickest and the easiest way to organize. It is organizing using hanging files. And um, you would just buy the hanging files and then pot, put the file folders inside. And I have a, a smaller black filing cabinet that has the two drawers. I also have a couple of portable ones that I carry around. Um, I just personally keep running out of space. And I need one of those tall office style filing cabinets because I really like to break things down into more and more categories, especially when one folder becomes too full. So I did find some great tips on um, organizing paper clutter using the file folder system um, that you could do in 30 minutes or less. Um, and you know, you, there is so much more that you can put in hanging file folders besides just papers. So I have some more extra tips on um, things that you could file besides um, you know, papers. One of the biggest issues with paper clutter is usually how it comes into the house. Um, and at my house, we bring in the mail and the newspaper and it gets laid on the table. Then it starts to get piled with more and more and it actually should be dealt with right away so that it won't be that tall mountain um, of paperwork to go through. So I did find some great tips from Home Storage Solutions on um, sorting it as it right as it comes into the door and what I really loved um, was an idea on making a family command center and I have kind of something like that on my wall where I have some calendars up and um, different things where I can pin up on the wall but this is um, really like set up for the house where you would put you know what's for dinner with the meals planned out for the week and a calendar and different things on the wall that would hold um, important papers, um, you know, your keys, just a whole center. But I have some tips on that on my, um, on my blog as well. Now, how many icons do you have on your desktop computer? My guess is too many. And this, this next idea uh, blew me away. Um, I found it um, at iHeartPlanners.com and she shows you how to organize them in 10 minutes or less. You just make a quick like program or, or picture. Uh, it's a graphic where you can organize and put the icons there. So 
So I thought that was pretty cool. I'll definitely be doing that one myself. Um, I also included 13 more ideas for organizing, you know, your desk, your office area, especially if you have a lot of pens and markers and um, office supplies that you need to put in little containers and, and stuff like that. Um, do you have any genius office organization tips that you would like to share? Post them in the comments below so I can get some more ideas and, you know, everyone else that comes can see them too. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will, in two days, I'll be sharing what my next series will be about. But that wraps it up for spring cleaning. And I hope that some of the ideas have helped you in getting your house started in spring cleaning. And I hope you have a great day.